welcome dear students today we are going to see the chapter number 3 that is circle from geometry okay now in this we are having some construction now circle passing through one point you know that from one point there are infinite number of circles can be passing okay so let us see how to draw it now for that purpose I took here one point that is point P now what you have to do now you have to draw circles through point P so you have to put your pen tip or pencil tip on the point P and take certain radius okay after taking radius just draw the circle so like this okay this is one point okay again now change bit of your radius either you reduce it or increase it so I reduced a bit of the radius and again put your tip on point P and take any radius and draw this circle like this okay so you can label it this point as say suppose the point is A this is A this center we are taken is A say suppose this center we are taken it as B okay now again take one more just increase bit of the radius and put your pen tip on point P and draw the circle so like this you can draw n number of circles which will pass through single point now I can increase bit of the length like this now increase just draw the circle I am using pen in the in place of pencil to make it make the visibility clear okay so if I reduce more then I can take like this take a small radius okay draw a circle so like this you can draw n number of circles from the one point so it may not come in exam but you must know it okay so let us see how it is I'll draw one more and then I we will end this one so like this you are having circle passing through one point clear so in this way you can draw n number of circles through a single point now next we will see how many circles will pass through two points okay okay now circles passing through two points now let us take any two points say suppose here I am taking point A and here I am taking say point B so now let us see that key how many circles will pass through point A and B now to construct it we have to join this with the help of this point here to join with the help of say pencil or pen now I am using pen to join it so here we have joined point A and B now you know how to draw perpendicular bisector of any segment so I am taking more than half of a B like this and draw one arc towards B put your compass on B and draw another arc okay if you want you can change bit distance I have reduced it put your compass on the previous arc draw one arc above one arc below okay now put again again on second arc and intersect it like this okay and see in exam you have to draw small arcs not very big arcs because big arcs are not looking very good but it must be small okay so here are the two arcs we have drawn now join these arcs you will get a perpendicular bisector of segment AB now I took AB randomly not exactly same 
so here this is the perpendicular bisector now actually I want little bit longer so I will increase bit length of it little bit more and little bit more down okay so okay here hmm. now you know that key perpendicular bisector so if we take the radius now and take any points on the perpendicular bisector you know that key, any point on the perpendicular bisector is equidistant from the end points say suppose I am taking P here then I am taking say Q here okay and R here okay this is there in your practical also so I took PQR on the top then if suppose I'll take here say suppose X say suppose here Y and here say suppose Z I will try because the radius is increasing the circle shape will also increase now put your compass on P take a distance of P A in your compass okay and then draw a circle which will pass through B okay so adjust it bit like this you have to draw so this is the first circle which will pass through point A and B and this is first one put your compass on Q and then again draw one more circle like this which will pass through A and B actually there is some problem with the compass because I am drawing with the pen then put your compass on R take the radius in your compass as R E draw the circle like this okay now I am keeping my compass on say suppose Z take the radius of Z A and draw this circle like this I will reduce it a bit put it on Y take the radius Y A draw the circle like this now reduce it a bit so like this you will find that key there will be n number of circles can be drawn which will pass through point A and B okay so suppose I will increase one more and I will take a distance say Z A it will be a bigger circle okay so compass is a bit tight yes okay now like this so all these circles are passing through point A and B see here how nice the design is okay now I'll try one more I'll put keep my compass here and take the radius and draw it okay it is going out a bit okay no problem okay so this is there in your practical also where you have to draw circles passing through this so like this you can draw n number of circles which are passing through point two points that is a b i hope this construction is clear to you now let us see how to draw or how many circles are passing through three points okay now let us see how to or how many circles are passing through three non collinear points so for that purpose we have to take any three non collinear points say suppose i am taking this point a say suppose here is the point B okay and say suppose here is the point C so you will see that there are three non collinear points now what you are going to do first you have to join the three points like this A B join A B and then you have to join B C or you can join A C and B C will do so join A B and BC okay now here what you are going to draw next is you have to draw perpendicular bisector of AB as well as perpendicular bisector of BC now let us see how to draw take more than half of AB 
and draw one arc from P towards A and one arc from A towards B. Okay. Now draw arcs from here one towards the left towards the right. Okay. Put your compass back here on the second arc. Draw one arc here and one arc here. Okay. So like this you have drawn two R's. Now join these R's you will get a perpendicular bisector of A B. Like this. So join it very sharply. If it is accurate then circle will pass through all the three points. Okay. Now I am trying my level best although my compass is having little bit movement but still I am trying because I am not using pencil. I am using a pen and pen is not fitted properly into the compass. So take more than half of BC, draw one arc towards B from C, draw one arc from B towards C. Okay. Now I am keeping the compass same so that arcs can be visible clearly. So one arc towards the left, towards the right. Now intersect the previous arcs like this. Like this. Okay. So now join it. You will get a perpendicular bisector of BC. Now I am joining it. Join accurately. Then only your circle will pass through the all the three points okay so here we have joined it now you will get a point O this point O is nothing but center of a circle now what you are going to do take OA as a radius in your compass like this put your compass on O take the radius OA in your compass and check whether it is passing through all the three points most probably yes so little bit mm -hmm. now see here so bit problem because as I told again the circle is drawn with the help of pen not with the help of pencil so like this you can see that one and only one circle will pass through all the three points now here bit problem is there because I have drawn it with the help of pen okay the points A and C did not join now I will try one more so that you can get it see here I have drawn one more diagram where now here you will find that exactly the circle passing through all the three points that is A, B and C so like this you have to draw the circle which is passing through any three non-collinear points. This type of question may come in your exam that draw a circle passing through three non-collinear points maybe for two marks. Okay. So what you have to do again I will revise it draw any segment say suppose AB and BC non-collinear and then draw perpendicular bisector of AB then draw perpendicular bisector of BC it will meet at point O this is center of a circle then you have to take the radius OA in your compass like this take radius OA in your compass see I have drawn it properly correct and it will be completed okay so this type of example two mass and surely you will get two mass for this type of example thank you I hope it is clear to you all